I've spent so much time in cities that have such an overwhelming feeling. I think that urban environments inspire me with the sounds, the sort of visual stimulation and the people. My name is Hisham Akira Barucha. I'm a visual artist as well as a musician. Everybody has sort of a history that you come from and that influences your choices as well as cultural background. Growing up in a monoculture and being half Japanese, it's not that you're a complete outsider, but you're never really completely accepted. And when I moved to America, I was like, oh, I'm an immigrant. I feel like I'm usually sort of dealing with that mental landscape and being somebody who rides on the cusp of different cultures. I try to make a balance of making visual work as well as music. My process is very similar. I guess the most recent process of making music for me is uh, I use a sort of looping system, so I'm adding layers on top of layers, and then I could sort of figure out like how to dissect that once I've written all the parts. In my collage work as well as my drawing and mural work, there's always a rhythm to it. So when you look at it, there's a visceral feeling of movement and rhythm, and so in that way, it's very directly related. And they definitely influence each other. Sometimes I'll go in with a concept. I'll know that I want to use a landscape and I want to have like a human body in it or a reference to the gesture that hands do. And then sometimes I'll just find an image that I'm just attracted to. Then I'll sort of mentally reference, oh, I have this shape cut out or I have this object that I want to relate to this. It does build organically. The one thing I find that's really interesting about making work is that once it gets to a point, I think it's the same with uh, writing a song. Once you start to put certain marks in, then it sort of writes itself because there's a balance that starts to be created and you almost don't need to think about it. A lot of stuff has to do with repetition. So every mark that you make in any type of creative process leads to another and it becomes a pattern, a vocabulary as sort of like a way of communicating as a language that I've written to sort of better understand myself as well as try to communicate. To be able to inspire and to be able to communicate without having the language. That's something that only these kinds of mediums can do. I think that's the gift of an artist and I want to keep doing that.